What's going on, everybody? It is Saturday, April 21st. I'm flying solo. There's no person over there. Nope, over there. There's no person over there. It's just me churning out uh, some baseball content for this morning. Uh, taking a look at the main slate. Not going to touch on anything in the early slate. Because um, I'm not going to be playing the early slate. So it's easier to just look at it like this. A uh, bunch of games. We've got nine total. Only game right now that's got any weather issues is uh, Rangers Mariners. There's a pretty solid chance that game's not going to happen um, based on what I'm seeing in the weather. Lots of rain for hours upon hours. So keep that in mind when you're making your lineups. But otherwise, let's get into it. Braves and Mets first game up. Braves 3.5 run implied total. Mets 4.3. That's a 59% chance to win for the Mets. Julio Tehran going for Atlanta. Jake DeGrom going for the Mets. Um, I like DeGrom a little bit here. Uh, you can see the numbers on the screen, so I'm not going to lead into anything in the future. I prefer Sale tonight, but I think DeGrom is an excellent second option. Um, I don't have any problem paying up for him on FanDuel. On DK... Um, you know, I, he's a pretty clear number two for me. Uh, I, I would rather have DeGrom than Strasburg, although it's close. But no problems having DeGrom. It's just that Chris Sale is probably going to be my my priority starter tonight. Uh, for uh, Tehran, I'm not interested at all, really. There's just uh, not enough chance to pick up a win on FanDuel. Can miss some bats, but not worth the risk. From a hitter perspective... Not really looking at the Braves. 3.5 run implied total is uh, not a direction I'm really looking to go. Um, I don't really see much one-off content there for them either. Uh, for the Mets, I don't have any problem having a Mets stack. Uh, I think that Conforto looks really nice at the top of the order. 4,200 on FanDuel, 4,600 on DK. Uh, more than okay having um, having him... Uh, I don't mind having Cespedes, uh, as Drupal Cabrera's price has really uh, gone up, but he looks really good on DK. Only only 4000 still. Same price on both sites, which is kind of wonky. Um, a Mets stack on DK looks a little bit more palatable. I don't normally love Jay Bruce. Um, he just, I don't know. He's not my guy anymore. I like him personally. I don't really like him in fantasy right now. Uh, I'm fine with having him, you know, getting another lefty bat. Uh, I'd be good. I'd be good to go one, two, three, four here. I'd I'd probably avoid Todd Frazier and Adrian Gonzalez. But if you wanted the top four of the Mets, I think it's fine. Uh, there's just better stacks out there today. Like the Milwaukee Brewers, who are hosting the Marlins. Uh, five run implied total for the Marlins, or five run implied total for the Brewers, rather. Uh, Four-run implied total for the Marlins. Um, that's a 61% chance to win for the Brewers. Brent Suter uh, going for Milwaukee. Jose Urena going for the Marlins. Uh, not a place that I'm probably going to be leaning too hard uh, for pitching. Uh, Suter doesn't miss enough bats. Really good opportunity to pick up a win. Um, so he's like a, a decent punt play at pitcher on FanDuel. Uh, that's really it for me. He's just not the kind of guy that I normally want to go after. But um, as per the last however many days, uh, Brewer's stack looks very, very nice. Um, I'd go all the way down. I mean, I'd run the whole gambit of the order, but I'd try to focus on the first six Uh Particularly Yelich, who was one of my favorite plays yesterday. He's going to be one of my favorite plays again today. I like Ryan Braun. Um, I like Travis Shaw. I like Eric Thames. Uh, I, I just I like the Brewers a lot. Five-run implied total is really nice. Uh, one of the best on the board today. And the Brewers will be likely one of my more popular stacks to have. Um, you'll probably see them in the stacks article. And uh, I, it's hard to avoid right now with those implied totals. And the Marlins are just not very good. Um, now, speaking of those Marlins, I'd, I'd be okay having uh, none of it, I guess. I mean, maybe a little bit of Starlin Castro if you need to. But 
Going against the lefty, uh, you know, normally I would have liked Derek Dietrich. I think his ownership will be relatively low. You know, uh, but I, I don't want to one off the Marlins in this scenario, so I probably won't have much of the Marlins. You can you can squint kind of hard and see them as like an alternative cheap stack. Uh, doesn't really have me excited though. I would prefer to just have a boatload of Brewers here. White Sox and Astros. Uh, not sure if this total is right. Um, this game was not on the board when I first started. Let's check and see if it's here now. So it's just the the side, and that's only on five dimes. I assume there's no total yet. No. So uh, I went with eight and a half runs, kept that side. So uh, Astros, relatively large favorites. It would be a five-run implied total for the Astros, 3.5 for the White Sox. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it looks like Luke Giolito going for the White Sox and Dallas Keuchel going for the Astros. I like Keuchel. Um, looks like a really solid play on FanDuel. Decent chance to pick up a win. Not really worried about the White Sox bats all that much. Uh, uh, as for DK, not a direction I want to go. I don't think he grades out that well. A bit too expensive. Too many other options that I like um, for me to go to, uh, to Keuchel here. When it comes to White Sox bats, you know, if the line is anywhere near what I have it at, it's probably not a scenario I'd want to go. Although, Avisail Garcia does have a very nice price. He'd be something that I'd want to look at in a matchup against a lefty. I think Jose Abreu is just too expensive for this one. Uh, I'm perfectly cool with an Astro stack. I think they'll be one of my more popular stacks again today. Uh, particularly on DraftKings, where I think Springer uh, looks really nice. So does Josh Reddick. Springer had a monster game yesterday. Uh, but I'd go anywhere 1-6 to six here. Um, no problems with that whatsoever. If you needed to use Gaddis on DK as a catcher, I think that's fine as well. A uh, five-run implied total, if that holds up, is a, is a nice spot for the Astros. Um, I like Luke Giolito, just, you know, not yet. So anything in the top six for the Astros is fine. And you can go top seven if this order holds on DK and you need a catcher. Uh, favorite play out of everything that I see here? Probably Gurriel, uh, at least on FanDuel. Only 3,000. I'd like to take a shot at that. Now, Rangers and Mariners, I'm going to give some muted thoughts here just because of how rough the weather looks, but I really, really, really liked the Mariners hitters. Um, they stacked out really nicely. D. Gordon, Cano, Kyle Seeger, uh, all getting uh, Fat Bartolo Colon. Um, you can't get enough of that. Their prices are spectacular. I'm fine with Segura Cruz in that scenario too, so give me, give me all the Mariners if I can, but... I'll probably be avoiding these guys unless that game, like even if that game doesn't get postponed, if that rain looks like it's supposed to look right now, um, it's going to be hard to go that direction. Uh, no way would I start Cologne in any sort of pitching situation, but I think Paxton looks fine. Um, I think he looks a little bit better on FanDuel than DK, but I'd have no problem using him. It would be weird... You know, my priority would be Sale on DraftKings, so I doubt that I would go to Paxton. I would most likely go to Darvish in this uh, particular game. Uh, that would scare the shit out of me in Colorado. So if you're not into taking the risk in Colorado, um, you know, I think Garrett Richards might be a guy that I would take a look at. But if for some reason the weather just miraculously clears up, uh, Mariners bats are, are an exceptional stack tonight. Hold on, I need to get a coffee slurp in. Oh, that's a good cup of joe. All right, next up, <clears throat> Diamondbacks and Padres. I got to clear my throat. All gummed up today. D-backs and Padres. 4.4 run implied total for the Diamondbacks. 3.4 for the Padres. 
Zach Godley going for Arizona, 62% chance to win. Uh, Clayton Richard going for the Padres. Uh, I'm not the biggest Godly fan. Uh, if Jake were on right now, he would be telling you guys to play Godly, I believe. Um, but he doesn't necessarily grade out all that well for me. I'll have a very tiny amount of him, probably less than the field. And I'd say that he'll be a little bit more popular on DK as a second starter. I should probably be more interested in Godly. He's just not for me on FanDuel. Uh, I, I would just, I'd much rather have Sale, DeGrom, Paxton, Keuchel. Uh, yeah, just, there's too many guys I would rather have. Um, as for stacks in this game, it's not really looking that great. Uh, the Diamondbacks don't have the run total that they've had in the past couple days, so the Arizona stack isn't as appealing as it normally is. Uh, I still like the middle of the Diamondbacks order, particularly Goldschmidt and Pollock, uh, getting a, a matchup against a lefty and playing in Arizona. That's a big one. So they should be relatively popular. Uh, three, four, five, you know, get Marte involved in that. Dual eligibility on DK. I'm cool with it. Uh, they're just not as overwhelmingly awesome of a stack as they have been for the past week or so for me. For the Padres... Um, uh, nothing, I guess. Uh, they're, they're pretty much a full stay away. Oh, forgot to do all the timestamps. Whatever, this is going to be a short video. Rockies and Cubs. Uh, Rockies, 4.6 run implied total. Cubs, 5.4. Uh, obviously, we're getting uh, a game in cores here. Tyler Anderson going for the Rockies. Uh, Hugh Darvish going for the Cubs. 57% chance to win for Darvish. Um, I'd take a shot at Darvish on FanDuel. I'd be a little more apprehensive to do it on DK because of the park. Um, and for a Cubs stack, you know, you're going to pay up for it. So if you've got uh, cheaper pitching to use, which isn't really the, like what's going on for today, it might be tough. Um, but I like Almora, Baez, you know, Chris Bryant. I like Ian Happ if he plays, Wilson Contreras. Um, I think you can go anywhere in that top six and be and be fine with a stack. It's just it's not the most cost efficient. DK is not so bad. Uh, FanDuel that hard of the order is pretty costly, but you know you're getting guys like Chris Bryant or Javier Baez, guys that can really rake. Rizzo, you know, it's a matchup against a lefty, but at least it's in course, so I'd be fine having that lefty lefty matchup here if it's part of a stack. No reason to not look at the Cubs. Five point four run implied total, highest on the slate. Um, I don't feel the same way about the Rockies. Uh, I, I don't really want to go in that direction. I can't imagine touching any of them on FanDuel. On DK, it's a little bit more palatable, but if I'm grabbing anything coming out of this game, it's the Cubs. A's and Red Sox. Uh, 3.0 run implied total for the A's. 3.8 for the Red Sox. Uh, Sean Manaya going for the A's, Chris Sale for Boston, 60% chance to win for Sale. And he's just, to me, far and away the best pitching option on the slate. Uh, huge K upside. Um, you know, he's the most, most expensive pitcher on the on the board today. That doesn't really surprise me. Um, great chance to pick up a win. Uh, Sale is just clear-cut number one guy for me on the hill. Um, I won't touch any A's bats at that 3.0 run implied total. I, I just don't want any part of it. Um, if you want to keep riding the Red Sox offense, uh, I think that's a very reasonable stance to take. Betts, Hanley, JD, uh, JD Martinez, Eduardo Nunez. Like You're paying up a lot of money here, <clears throat> but you're getting a lot of righty bats against the, against the lefty starter. Um it's not going to be for me tonight. I, I, I'd much rather just pay up for the Astros hitters because of that implied total. But Red Sox have become a pretty difficult team to fade. So I can't sit here and tell you not to do it. Angels and Giants. Uh, 5.2 run implied total for the Angels. 3.8 for the Giants. Uh, it's a 64% chance to win for the Angels. Garrett Richards on the hill. Um, and then Derek Holland is going for San Francisco. 
Uh, Garrett Richards is someone that I would explore on on FanDuel. Uh, I honestly thought he would grade out a little bit better than that. Um, 9.2 Ks per nine projected from Steamer is, is always a direction I want to go. 3.67 FIP. Very clearly the better pitcher. Excellent chance to pick up a win. Um, you know, outside of Brandon Belt, he's really the only lefty bat that I'd be nervous about. You know, he gets the run up against McCutcheon and Posey and potentially Longoria. Uh, so Richards is probably one of my favorite guys. He's just not grading out as well. So I hope to see him. I'd hope to be higher than the field uh, than him on FanDuel. But, you know, we'll see as the day goes on where that sort of shakes out. Uh, Angels hitters, uh, more than okay with. 5.2 run implied total is the second highest on the slate. It's even higher than the Rockies in Colorado. Um, Derek Holland, not a guy that misses a ton of bats. So the top of the Angels order is going to be a very popular stack. Uh, With Kinsler, uh, you know, Trout's probably the best play of the day. Uh, Justin Upton, Pujols, Andrelton Simmons. Uh, I like everything there in that first five. Um, I would definitely want to have uh, a lot of Trout today. I expect him to be very popular. Getting the matchup against the lefty, huge implied total. Um, Trout will probably be a spotlight hitter, if I had to guess. Uh, for Giants hitters... Oh, man. You know, I don't think that there's a ton to like there. Uh, I think the stacks are pretty natural tonight. Um, I don't really want to go to panic or belt or crawford and i don't really like the righties here so uh, i would like to load up on the angels if i could dodgers and nats uh, 3.5 run implied total for the dodgers 3.7 for the nats uh hunjin ryu going for uh, la 52 percent chance to win for strasburg and the nats um not looking at Ryu at all. Uh, Strasburg looks perfectly fine. Whatever he comes up in, I'm happy to take it. Uh, I'm not going to go crazy over it, but I think he's just like a perfectly acceptable starter. He's just uh, pretty clearly behind sale for me. Don't really want to focus too much on the bats, but the Nats kind of look like a sneaky okay stack. It's just that that implied total is kind of scary. But, you know, Trey Turner... Um, Getting the righty-lefty matchup at the top of the Nats order is a guy that I would look at probably in one-off scenarios. Uh, Just because he's, like if he were an outfielder, I might not feel the same way. But since he's a shortstop, I think he transcends that a little bit. Uh, If Rendon plays, I'm I'm definitely in for some Rendon. Uh, Zimmerman, you know, I'm always interested in Zimmerman against a lefty. Had two dongs a couple nights ago. Uh, in this sort of scenario. So I think a Nats stack is fine. Uh, Just, you know, be cognizant of the fact that the implied total is relatively low. Uh, For the Dodgers, I can't really see having any Dodgers bats. Um, You know, if you want to use Yasmani Grandal as a one-off catcher on DK, uh, that'd be a direction I, I think is a reasonable way to go. Uh, we still don't have any NBA stuff to talk about from Fantasy Cruncher, so I'm going to bounce back over to MLB and crunch out some lines. I did 150 lines of FanDuel earlier, so that should still be up. Um, let's duplicate this and get DK running in the background while I touch on the FanDuel stuff. That seems like an efficient use of time. Now I'm in basketball again, which is miraculous. Okay, let's grab DK projections. Anxious to see how DK shakes out, as per usual. It's always more interesting to me to see the sites that I don't really play all that often. Liverpool up 2 nothing last I checked. Let's see if they scored again. It's more important to me. Knowing if Liverpool is playing well. 2 2! Really? Really? So cool. Cool. Gave up two goals since I started this video. Uh, y'all people are bad luck. No, 
I'm just playing. I can't believe they gave up two goals in the last 10 minutes. That's some Liverpool shit for you. Anyway, let's get into this. Let's crunch out some DraftKings lines. Let's do 48.5. We'll add stacks. And we'll do 100. Now we'll take a look at FanDuel. Okay. Uh, so when I did the FanDuel crunch, it was uh, 150 lines. So this is, these were my placeholders. I got 47% Chris Sale, and then like an even amount of Darvish, DeGrom, Paxton, a little bit of Strasburg, and then, uh, you know, scattered lineups. So fine with that. You'll see here, biggest um, or most popular stacks are Mariners and Marlins. Uh, like I said, it's a shame. I really like that Marlins stack. They're probably going to get yanked out of there uh, as it gets closer to lock, but you know, just so you guys can see it, Mariners and Marlo, or hold on, Mariners and Brewers are the direction I would want to go. Um, they are clearly far and away the the number one and number two stacks for me. After that, you know, you're getting into weird spots like the Marlins, and then you know we see a little bit of the Nats. I'm surprised to see so little of the Astros. They're just nowhere to be found on here. Um, that might change a little bit when uh, the Mariners get pulled out of here. But looks like uh, a lot of sale Brewers Mariners stacks. Like if I sort that down by sale, you just see a lot of uh, a lot of that blue color. So that's where I'm sitting right now on FanDuel. Uh, we'll see where that shakes out as more news comes through and as some lines uh, firm up a bit. DK coming back to it perfectly. 96 lineups. Um, two more and we can talk about it. That's an overwhelmingly large amount of you, Darvish. Uh, I feel like I need to walk that one back just a little bit um, and maybe take a look at my adjustments for course. Uh, but a lot of sale, a lot of DeGrom, a lot of Paxton. Uh, I'm fine with that here. Uh, if Jake were on, he would want to look at these four lineups for Zach Godley. So uh, shout out to Jake not being here today. Um, here's your Zach Godley lineups. Just, I want you to know that I'm still going to look at Godley when you're not on the not, when you're not on the on the video. Um, I like that pitching split. You know, I probably want to pull Darvish down a little bit. They'd probably go more towards like Garrett Richards if I had to guess. And then from a stack perspective. Uh, a lot of Mariners, which again, you know, might be up in the air for the rest of the day. Looks like a Mets stack is pretty viable. Um, a Cubs stack looks viable. Really liking the Mar or the Marlins again, and then uh, the Brewers are a bit further down. So it looks like the Brewers are not as good of a stack on DraftKings right now as they are on FanDuel. So that's where I'm at right now, guys. Um, Keep your eye out for spotlight hitters and pitchers and stacks. Uh, those will be out later today. Uh, we'll have updates throughout the day. Um, no live stream or anything tonight. We'll be back with live shows starting Monday. Uh, like and subscribe for the video and the channel. It's really helping us out. Uh, we're seeing really nice growth, uh, so couldn't be happier with that. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Uh, follow my normal co-host on Twitter at Jake Hari. Uh, follow the website at awesomeo, A-W-E-S-E-M-O underscore com uh, for any updates from the website. Uh, sign up for premium if you're interested. Uh, we've got all of Awesomeo's rankings and ownership projections behind the paywall. So it's good stuff. Uh, it's certainly helping me in life. Uh, I know that it'll help other people. So I highly, highly recommend it. Um, that's all I've got. Please go enjoy your Saturday. Best of luck tonight, and I will talk to you guys again later.